It is very easy for one's brain to overload when thinking about all that Charlie Sheen has accomplished and what he has done in the recent past to erase every single accolade that people used to throw at him. There is no doubt that he's a talented actor, a beloved face and an outstanding personality. But he's also a former addict, a destructive force in the lives of those who knew him best and a very angry and egocentric individual. As a textbook narcissist, Shin absolutely needs to be in the spotlight and thanks to this has run through a long list of friends and willing co-workers that either love him or hate him depending on their chemistry. If not for his need to be at the center of attention at all times, he might never have left two and a half men. Yet another iconic figure, Madonna is very much a self-centered individual despite her acts to the contrary. During one interview session, she went so far as to schedule the interview in advance and then cancel on the day of the interview without any explanation at all. Once the interviewer was allowed to finally speak to her, Madonna acted quite rude and did not respond to any questions unless they were directed at her achievements and work ethic. Millions of fans might love her, but given this type of treatment, it stands to reason that many might choose instead to simply distance themselves from the material girl. She's a self-professed egotist, shows up late to filming, and then makes some insane demands when she does make an appearance. In other words, Lindsay Lohan is more than just a little bit difficult. She's a diva that some say is quite juvenile in her manner and appearance. Her excuse is that she wants to win an Oscar and that she still wants to have a life. While no one could possibly fault her for such desires, the idea that she can work half as hard and yet reap the full benefits make her quite difficult to work with. At the risk of being rude, Mariah Carey is perhaps one of the most two-faced divas in the industry and as a result, sees herself as a decent and good person but attempts to make excuses for her ill behavior while on screen. Many celebrities can rightfully claim that their poor behavior is a publicity stunt. But with Carey, it seems that she cannot always make up her mind which face she wishes to present to the public. Her infamous feud with fellow judge, her infamous feud with fellow judge, her infamous feud with fellow judge Nicki Minaj on the show American Idol brought to life many of her character traits that some fans had never seen before. Bell is seen as a bit of putting by many of his fellow actors for a couple of reasons. One is that he's a fairly angry person who takes things a bit too serious at times. Another is that he tends to be fascinated by real-world violence and sees it as a means of making the world work. He has often been seen on set to never once fraternize with fellow actors as he believes in keeping himself at a distance from others so as to stay in character. While it doesn't make him such a bad person, it still does, it still does tend to raise a host of other questions about his character. Coming from being a little known actress to being one of the most sought after divas in the country can definitely change a person. Whether she was this diverse kick when she was young or fame made her this way, Aniston is in a class of her own. Not only does she eat meals separately from the crew and cast of any production she is involved in, but she typically keeps her personal trailer miles from the set to complete her isolation. Aside from this, she's another demanding personality that seeks to impose her will on set, and reportedly, she's not willing to compromise all that often. Needless to say, being an assistant to this diva is not bound to be an easy job. The description she gives for the position sounds like something out of drama or romantic comedy. For example, the applicants need to be at her back and call for all things at all times. They're also expected to be grateful, to be treated like that, or asked to do anything that might not be within their limitations. In other words, if you want to work for j Law, be ready to take some crash course in everything from cooking to foreign relations to changing her baby's diapers. The use of single names seems to scream diva, and Beyoncé is no different. Her demands during Super Bowl 48 were so outrageous that many of those who worked with her were hard to state that they would be glad to never relive such an experience. Beyoncé is generally seen as an inspiration and a hard-working individual that many look up to. However, it may be a bit hard to admire her when one is seeking to fulfill her every need. Despite being an integral part of Desperate Housewives for so long, it is reported that Hatcher never really got along with her fellow actresses. She is a reported narcissist and quite ambivalent towards the rest of the cast, and as a result, alienated herself from those around her. As if to drive home the point, the cast of the show decided to reward the crew that had worked so hard to make the show possible with an impressive gift once its final episode was aired. However, they purposefully left Hatcher's name off the thank you note. Now, if ignorance and arrogance had the same face, it would be that of sheer leboeuf. 
the young actor that was so influential in the Transformers movies has been heard to state that he doesn't believe there's anything he could learn in school that he couldn't learn on set. Ever since his rise to fame, he has been largely outspoken about his feelings towards acting and his true purpose. While he gets points for honesty, he loses serious credibility for the simple fact that he admits to not knowing what he's doing or why. That's the kind of attitude that has led great many people to wisely distance themselves from him in an attempt to simply forget that he is or ever was part of Hollywood. <laughs>